I know he's an old head, but you need a balance of them OGs and them young Gs. Look at Ray John Rondo, how beneficial he was to um, the Lakers playoff championship run. Look how beneficial. When they got Rondo, I did not think Rondo was going to get as much, was going to have as much of an impact on the Lakers as he did. But when you go into a situation where the team believes in you, they need you. Look at Dwight Howard, the way he contributed so much to the championship. That's a guy who they thought his career was dead. And when you go in a scenario when the team believes in you, the coach believes in you, your teammates believe in you, it elevates you to your maximum potential. And look how much service they got out of Rondo. Look how much service they got out of Dwight. So much service out of these old heads. <laughs> What's up? What's happening? What's poppin', my people? Welcome back to another great episode of Simone with the sports. Da -da -da -da. So, guys, today I'm talking about the possibility of Derrick Rose coming to the 76ers. So, before we get into that, make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you drop a comment because I know you guys are gonna have a lot of opinions about whether we should get him, whether we should get somebody else. I know y'all the most um, names that I'm hearing right now that we should get is Buddy Hill, Zach Levine, and Derrick Rose and Terry Rozier in my comments. Today I'm doing a video on why I think we should get Derrick Rose and why it's probably our most realistic option out of the bunch. So make sure you comment what you think. Also, while you're here, make sure you subscribe because only a few of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed. So that either means you don't like what you see or you just forgot to hit the subscribe. So I need you and you 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 to hit that subscribe so let's get right into the video so why am i talking about derrick rose so basically guys the 76ers i love everything starting with the with doc rivers and daryl morey making that transition making that change i love everything the sixers are doing and i love all of our moves pre-draft night draft night getting rid of Kyle, getting Seth Curry. I love all of the moves that we have made thus far. Also retaining Ben and Joel because I know they were in a lot of trade scenarios but we were able to retain both of those future superstars. So I'm glad we were able to retain those but also build around them. Get those starting to build depth and some shooters around them. Also the signing of Dwight Howard is going to be great for um, Joel and Embiid's development, confidence, darkness. So why am I talking about Derrick Rose? I think we're missing a true vet point guard, a true veteran point guard. I know Ben has been holding down the point for us, but that has hindered us a little bit because ain't nobody scared of Ben shooting. Nobody's scared of Ben shooting right now. So it kind of hinders us when we're trying to um, create plays on the offense, especially because we don't have the floors in this space as much. It's not as much room for these guys to move around because Ben is not that guy who can really space out the floor. Now, I think we should get a veteran point guard, guys, because if we're going to it will, of course, help Ben's development and it will, you know, switch things up for us at the point in our offense. Because um, I know we drafted Tyrese, but of course, he's a young guy. I keep wanting to call him a freshman, a rookie. He's going to be coming in. Well, he was a freshman. I mean, he only did one year, but he's a rookie coming into the NBA. So we're not going to, you know, really be giving him that much of a load. But we do need a veteran guy, a point who can come in behind Ben. Um, and also we can we can shift things up with the offense like i said i know ben played a little bit um at the four position during um the playoffs and we can make some more creative packages with the offense if we get a guy a veteran guy at the point with some confidence who can facilitate the offense and also be able to spread the floor and that's where derrick rose comes in derrick rose his contract is only about seven million dollars which is beautiful because it's great for when we're trying to create um a trade package and we can include a guy like Mike Scott or maybe some younger guys and throw in some picks and be able to obtain Derrick Rose and Derrick Rose guys he has some great numbers last season and before I get into his numbers I know a lot of you guys are like we got Seth Curry like that's all the scoring no because Seth Curry although I love him he's a bucket he is an off the ball kind of player he does his best when he's playing off the ball tricking defenses he's not the best at create he's a shooting guard he's not a point guard he's not the best when he has to create plays for other guys he's the best when he's playing off ball offense we need a guy who can play the point Derrick Rose is somebody who can come off the bench and be effective for the Sixers or he can actually play alongside Joel and alongside Ben because we know Ben 
um, had that experience playing power forward for us. So he can come off the bench and create plays. And he could also actually start because he started about 15 games with the Pistons last season. And he averaged 18 points last season with the Pistons. And he averaged 18 points the season before. He averaged about five um, assists. He shot about 50% field goal percentage. And he had about 31% shooting from the three. So he has been pretty consistent with his numbers. And he averaged 18 points in about 26 minutes. 18 points coming off the bench is a lot of points and he will be able to create create plays that Ben Simmons can't create because Ben Simmons nobody's fearful of Ben Simmons shot nobody's fearful of that Ben is a good facilitator but when there's no real good spacing on the floor it's only so much you can do as an office so we definitely need a veteran presence behind Ben Simmons and Derrick Rose he can learn a lot from Derrick Rose. I know he's been injured a lot, but Ben has faced injury. He was just injured last season, so that's another aspect that he can, you know, coach him up on. Like, Derrick is also a guy who we can count on, you know, in the crunch. He's played under pressure. He's played under pressure and performed well under pressure many times in his career. And playing with so many young guys that we have on our roster, we'll be able to count on somebody at the point guard position who's not going to, you know, really fall under pressure. He's about it when it comes to the pressure scenario. So that is going to be a complete upside, especially when we're headed into the playoffs. Because we've seen a lot of teams with these young talent, no shade to the Celtics, but a lot of young talent who hasn't really been in that much pressure situation before, and they haven't performed up to their, they didn't perform up to their full potential because, you know, they're on a, maybe been on the biggest stage they've been on, they've been on in a while. And speaking of the Celtics, guys, the reason why we need more scoring, more creativity on the offense, and especially at the point, because when we're coming up against teams like the Celtics, teams who have several guys who can get a bucket at will, who can score at will will that's going to be hard to keep up with in the playoffs we need to get some more of that going and that's why we need somebody at the point we need to get another guy who can play the point another guy who can who can basically score at will who could create a play at will and that is something we need to handle we also just definitely need veteran presence at the point now i know a lot of you guys are saying we need to get zach levine we need to get terry rozier um, a lot of you guys are saying Derrick Rose, and I definitely agree with Derrick Rose um, because we can get him for cheap and short term, and he's a veteran guy who has been in those pressure situations before. He's a veteran guy who's just been here before, an OG. You need the OGs, and that's somebody Ben can learn from. And like I said, we need somebody who can come in off the bench and facilitate and Derek can also start as well. Like I said, a few games here and there, he can start. He's done it before with the Pistons, and he's not gonna have as much pressure on him with the 76ers as he did with the Pistons. So let me know what you guys think about Derek Rose. I know he's an old head, but you need a balance of them OGs and them young Gs. Look at Ray John Rondo, how beneficial he was to um, the Lakers playoff championship run. Look how benefit when they got Rondo. I did not think Rondo was going to get as much was going to have as much of an impact on the Lakers as he did. But when you go into a situation where the team believes in you, they need you. Look at Dwight Howard, the way he contributed so much to the championship. That's a guy who they thought his career was dead. And when you go in a scenario when the team believes in you, the coach believes in you, your teammates believe in you, it elevates you to your maximum potential. And look how much service they got out of Rondo. Look how much service they got out of Dwight. So much service out of these old heads who people are thinking, oh, their career's like basically coming to an end. We can resurge. We can revitalize Derrick Rose because Derrick Rose been showing out the last two seasons like I said he averaged 18 points the last two seasons last season he had 5.6 assists um shot about 50 percent um his field goal percentage was around 50 percent and he shot about 31 percent um from the three so that is a guy we definitely need to get and we can get for the cheap keep your eye out on Derrick Rose guys the season is coming up let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think about our scoring ability let me know what you guys thinking about our spacing um, and just our team in general and I'm gonna come with you guys with some new content some fresh content I got so many ideas um, to share with you guys before the season starts so this next month heading into the NBA tip-off we about to get it get it get it so make sure you get 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 subscribe and you get like it and jump in the comments because you guys always give me new ideas